Island show? It's amazing. It's a perfect <laughs> show. It doesn't suck, I guess. Oh, my God. We love it, Kyle. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Jeremy. Oh, hey, Carl. Nothing's wrong. You don't usually stay up this early. Is that a new game? Uh, yeah. I mean, it totally sucks, though. Like, uh, just about to stop playing. How's, uh, like your, like, you know, like your life going stuff? Those, uh, new pants? Uh, no, actually, I've had these for a while. <laughs> Uh, so, so what game is that? Maybe I should get some footage of it for the show. Oh, uh, too bad. Gotta go to sleep. Gotta work in like, like four hours, and then gotta uninstall like, right after that. So. Must feel nice to finally get out of the basement for once. Holy yeah, cool call. We do that later on. It's awesome. Yo, yo, hey, Jamin. Uh, you're looking a little tired there, dude. You know, maybe you shouldn't work like that. No, obviously not. No, never. Later on, we could totally, totally do that later. Stress is a silent killer, man. You gotta know how to handle that shit. Jeremy really shouldn't work so hard. As a store's union rep, I have no choice but to take this up with management. Jeremy, you look like a zombie. How much sleep have you been getting? Hans, Carl. God, don't you got, like, somewhere to be? Like, not here. Hey, Jeremy. Notice anything different? Like, more fat, maybe? <laughs> no. No. Uh, contacts. Those are the 1.6 kilogram boxes. They they go down here. Jeremy, this is for the 750 gram boxes. Okay. Yeah. You're looking pretty tired there, buddy. I'm, now I'm worried that we're overworking you. I'd hate to think that the workplace is negatively impacting your physical or mental health, which, of course, is in direct violation of union regulations. Cool. And, it, you know, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm, I'm always available, so... Yeah, totally do that. Anyway. Oh, no running, sir. Yo, dude, where you been? You missed TF2 night. I know, I'm super busy and just doing stuff. What are you talking about? You haven't been online in like four days. Yeah, because he's been playing some I've new been game sick. and <coughs> I was totally sick for like four days. Yeah. I was like sleeping like so much. It's not like tons of fun. Super lame, so I've like lots of work to do though, so I'm just gonna do that. Is Jeremy playing an MMO again? Massively multiplayer online role playing games are like anything else in life. You need to approach them with moderation. Some of my guildmates have had addiction problems. I've always been able to balance real life and MMO time. What's so addictive about MMO games? <laughs> well, they're not really games. Not like chess or hockey or RTS anyway. They're just like, there's no ending. There's no winner. They're just like these huge worlds inhabited by millions of real people where there's always something to do, right? Always some way to improve yourself. Kind of like real life, but fun. When you're stuck in RL, the game is never far from your mind because it's always happening, even without you, you know? Like, I schedule my work shifts around my raids because my guild relies on me. Considering I use mostly guild bank mats to level my JCing, they use their mains to gear up my alt, and I'm healing spec and often have to beer as the MT, there's no way I can just leave them hanging, right? Totally. I XP for me, like toy licking sack. These loot tables are like huge balls. Gotta find new place to grind like ASAP. Hey, Jeremy, can you log out for a second? No, I'll, I'll start pulling like four at a time and just like AOE them down like, way fast that way. Better loot too. Jeremy, it'll only take a minute. I just want to talk to nah, you. Nah, this is my brother Kyle. You just ignore him. Everyone else does. Can you take off the headset for one second? It is kind of weird, huh? It's always sounded like that since he's like born. <laughs> Look up Kyle in the dictionary, there's like a picture of a total noob beside it. Who are you talking to? Kyle, I'm soloing. God, I feel like the biggest noob ever you might have noticed. You messed up my concentration. Okay, this has got to stop. You're obviously addicted. What are you talking about, Kyle? I'm not addicted. Trust me, I've been addicted before, so you know what it's like. Do you even remember what it was like last time? Yeah, it's like, it's like awesome. Remember I was like the first to have like a full set of tier two? 
I was four pimping. What's that car? What's that boy's car? Oh, who's a pimp, huh? Who's a P-I-M-P car? Jeremy, there's a million better things you could be doing with your time right now. It's called having fun, Carl. You should, like, try it sometime. Whoa. Wolf dropped a bearskin. That's weird. Boom! What's that? Headshot! <laughs> Woo! Man, there's something so awesome about shooting people in the head. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why do you keep switching between the knife and the gun? Because you run faster with a knife. Duh. Ah, really? See, Jeremy never explains these things to me. Well, that's just common sense, Kyle. So you still playing that MMO or what? Yeah, pretty much all day, every day. Mind if I follow you around for a while? Because uh, it'd be nice to get some footage that oh, I can actually use. Oh, hey, this. Kyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dougie. Here's ten bucks. Go play somewhere else and don't come home before four o'clock, okay, sweet pea? Nice! Mm, not before four o'clock, okay? No worries, Mom. Kick him all day on ten bucks. Woohoo! Mm. Why does your mom always make you leave the house? I don't know. It's awesome. She gives me ten bucks. Oh, hey, it's up, Eric. Man, Cal, I can't believe you've never been here before. This is like the best park ever. Woohoo! <laughs> Bravo Company is on the moon. Oh man, is that ice cream? Oh, ice cream! Hey! Where's my ten bucks? Where's my ten bucks? Cut! I lost my ten bucks! Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? Oh shit! Oh, my God. Doug, what are you doing? Problem solved. Ice cream time. Doug, <laughs> please tell me you didn't just take her money. Man, she's super nice. I just asked, where's my money? She gave me tons of free cash. Ice Doug, cream. Doug, give that back. <laughs> Doug, wait. Wait. Oh, my God. Jeremy! Hey, Jeremy! Doug got arrested. Doug was arrested today. Jeremy, Doug's in jail for mugging two people. Nice. He finally got the drop. He's got the highest DPS on the server. This guy. This guy. Oh, great. So you don't care about the fact that your best friend's in jail, and apparently you also don't care about the fact that you missed work today. I don't think Mom doesn't know. Kyle, I'm leaving absence. God. Plus, I've got, like, two more jobs now anyway. Guardy Max Armorsmith and, like... Almost max alchemy, so... You're making so much gold soon, it's stupid. I don't see what the big deal is, Kyle. I mean, you've been playing video games all day, every day for the past 20 years. Why is this one any different? Did you know he missed work today for the first time? Well, if he loses that job, he'll just have to learn his lesson and find another one. He's independent now. Mom! Mom! What, sweetie? It's almost ready! Number three, step forward. See the line. Where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> In English, please. What? In English. Where's my money? Where's my money? What the fuck? Number three, that's him. You can't even stop playing long enough to eat a sandwich. That's just sad, Jeremy. Whatever, Carl. I stop whenever I want. Check it out. Look, I'm playing now, am I? I take breaks, like, all the time, you know? Like I was saying, Carl. Because I was, like, totally addicted before. I, like, totally know how to, like, not be addicted again, you know? Because <clears throat> if you can, like, quit once. You can, like, quit as many times as you want, whenever you want. That's like, don't really want to quit yet, you know? 
But man, those are the classic signs, dude. I've seen it all before. Like, back in the day, some of my friends got into drugs. You gotta, like, step in and stop it before something really bad happens. <clears throat> like, intervention style, you know? Yeah. Yeah. How does the defendant plead to the charge of armed robbery? Not guilty, Your Honor. My client's near continual immersion in horrifically violent video games has led to a complete disassociation from reality and uncontrollable violent impulses. These games sold in toy stores every single day are solely responsible for my client's rampant crime spree. Furthermore, his total dependence upon his mother makes him extremely unlikely to flee. Dude! Hey, dude! Check it out, man! Take like straight out of Total Recall! Put on my foot! <laughs> uh, like cool, Doug. <laughs> so, Doug, how was jail? I didn't even get to go! I wanted to stay in my dad's old room. Instead, I just got curfew. Ultra lame. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing? Oh, awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Well, we've been kind of worried about you because you haven't been around the pad or on Xbox Live in like a week. <laughs> I mean, it may seem hypocritical for me to be intervening, but MMOs really aren't for everyone, you know? October. You see this sword that just dropped? Sick DPS. Like, totally insane. Could be grinding, like, so fast now. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, and what about Onageddon? It's coming up. Are you prepared to defend your title? Think about all those noobs be thinking they got skills if you're not there to own them. I got, like, tons of time to train for that. God. I... Yeah, I... Yo, I... I should, like, totally be trained, like, right now. You guys are totally right. Um, so, yeah, like, you guys should maybe take off, bring Kyle with you, and uh, I'm just going to, like, train up, like, right now, so... Why don't we all go out and get a smoked meat sandwich, huh? My treat. Oh, it's okay. I've got, like, tons of food in the game, so. Jeremy, you need to balance playing the game and thinking about and thinking about playing the game. Jeremy! 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 Jeremy, how you feeling? Full balls, Carl. They don't give you any privacy? No, oh, Carl, you don't understand. You've been, like, so bored, it's, like, fun to read a book. Because I have. So they've cured you? I guess, kind of. Pretty much a couple days without playing the game, I'm thinking, like, WTF, you know? Why would I want to log in? Play some noob game instead of working on my skills. I was, like, totally self-destructing myself. It's weird, because when I was playing a game, I was, like, caring about stuff I shouldn't be caring about, you know? Instead of playing real games, having real fun. I guess being here and having, like, the gayest, most boring time ever is, like, supposed to make you, like, learn that. Is it really that bad here? <laughs> yeah, Kyle. I would have died of boredom if I, like, didn't learn how to play strategy games in my brain. Do you know when you can come home? Yeah, I can go, like, any time now, Kyle. I'm just going to finish up this game. Doug, can you tell us about the games that you play? They're awesome! <laughs> I'm sure they are. But, can you tell us what sort of games you play? The ones where you shoot people. So, to be clear, these aren't card games or puzzle games or fantasy games. These are the ones where players engage in realistic-looking combat with realistic-looking firearms shooting realistic-looking people. Uh, yeah, that's the best games. I sometimes even use a knife if I can sneak up and get real close, but usually I just shoot them in the head. I mean, they die fastest that way. They die fastest that way. Could you please tell the court, in your own words, what happened on the afternoon of the 15th? Well, I was playing in the park having fun. 
Then I ran to the ice cream bike. After I lost my ten bucks, I don't know. I guess I kind of black. Oh, then I was in a different place all of a sudden. Kind of like when you respawn. Could you tell the court why you were holding the knife when you approached Mrs. Fraser? Because then I'd run faster. Because then he'd run faster. <laughs> Am I the only one that knows this? Doug, do you know the difference between video games and real life? Yeah, real life's more boring. Well, he started playing games when he was about four. About the same time that he became obsessed with guns. You know how girls name their dolls? Well, Dougie had names for all his toy guns. Is it true that you paid your son to leave the house on the day of the incident? Yeah, I gave him ten bucks. You had to pay him to stop gaming. Yeah, to stop gaming. In your statement, you say that Doug played games at your land center pretty much every day. When he's there, does he spend any time socializing with the other customers? Not really. So he just sits there, silent, completely focused on the game. He's focused on the game, but we got a lot of noises. Noises? What sorts of noises? We make crazy noises. Yells. Boom, headshot a lot. Boom. Headshot. Crazy noises. Mrs. Fraser, how would you describe the defendant's behavior when he approached you in the park? He was running around like a maniac with a knife in his hand. And did the defendant say anything to you? Yeah, he kept saying, where's my money? Where's my money? Ooh. Did you feel that your life was in danger? Well, sure I did. I thought he was going to kill me. You thought he was going to kill you. Thank you. In frames 238 to 263, you can clearly see a sudden, threatening, stabbing motion. Back to the left. Back to the left. Back to the left. Back to the left. You're a close friend of the accused, is that correct? Yeah, Doug's like my best friend. Do you know if the defendant has a reputation for violence? Only in games. In your opinion, has the defendant been corrupted by video game violence? <laughs> to be honest, I don't really know what that means. It means that exposure to violence... No, 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 no. I know what you think it means. Yeah, Kyle, no, he tries to use big words on me like all the time. Just because he's got like a fancy suit on, walking around, like using big words, doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. Because to be honest, I've been sitting there and most of what he said today is like total BS. Yes, well... Uh... No, no, see, games, they're like any other kind of stuff. I mean, there's good stuff and there's bad stuff, you know? And when you get to do what you want to do, you know, in free countries, kind of like this one. Wow, yeah. It's up to everyone to be responsible, you know? You gotta choose what games you're gonna play, how you're gonna play them, how long you're gonna play them Thank for. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, something about not the defense finished. withdraws the question, Your Honor. I'd like to hear what this witness has to say. It seems as though the counsel for the accused has forgotten that it's not video games that are on trial here. Will the witness please continue? Thanks, Steve. I was saying, there's nothing wrong with Doug playing FPS. It's what he loves to do. It's not corrupted or whatever by games, because games aren't RL. Which, by the way, super obvious to anyone that like actually plays him. I think there's a lot of people that understand Doug. Because that's like the only way you could be scared of him. Well, that's because he like looks super scary. But anyways, Doug didn't mean to scare anyone. He's like the nicest guy ever. He's totally just like, let him go. Thank you for your testimony. If there are no further questions, you may now leave the stand. Talk to me, dog, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs>